right? So when it first comes on, you end up with this screen here. Now the things to take note of, when you first turn it on, what you're gonna get is this, where this time and date is wrong. Now this must be right before the box will work. Otherwise when you try and go into Kodi, it won't work. So the first things you've got to do is by using the right button, because you can see this one's big, is we're gonna go over to settings. You then hit okay. We're gonna to go to network. If you're gonna use Wi-Fi, then what you do, go to Wi-Fi and put a tick in the box. If this already has a tick in the box when you first go into network, untick it so it refreshes the access list. Otherwise you might find when you try and connect to, the, to your Wi-Fi, it will not connect because it's just picking up a previous, um, it's picking up a previous connection. So just make sure it doesn't refresh. So if you've got it and it's already on Wi-Fi, just press OK to take the tick out of the box. Press OK again, we'll put the tick back in the box and make sure it does refresh access point list. From here, you select whatever your Wi-Fi is. So why is that one? I press OK. And then you get here, input password. Now, I've got a tick already in show password. It's advisable to put a tick in that box so you can see what password you're entering. So you go down, I put a tick in the box, go back up to password, press OK. And then what I would do is you then use the left, right, up and down keys to move around the onboard keyboard. Once you get to a letter, you just press OK. And you'll notice the letter will come up in here. Once you're finished, you go to done and you would then go down to connect now and press OK and it will try and connect. All right? If you're gonna use Ethernet, then you would just obviously go to Ethernet, put a tick in. Connecting for the first time, it will take about 10, 15 seconds before you get an IP address. Just leave it and wait. Don't press anything, don't try and connect to anything, just let it do that. Because if it doesn't do that and it doesn't connect, you're gonna to have to turn it off and back on to then do the whole thing again. So just leave it, but as I say, it'll take about 15, yeah, 10, 15 seconds to get an IP address. So now you can see we're done. So that means we're now gonna work.